It is a cool shirt. Where'd you get that shirt? Really? Great, here we go, guys. Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, I know from the very start, got a nice sweet line in self-referencing the uh, very fact that you're in a sequel. And, and I don't, for you guys, beyond all the banter, well, there was a kind of a real fear, because it's a tricky thing to do, is to follow up a movie that people love and go there again and find another 90 minutes of fun. I mean, I would like to say that it was hard, I mean, because, but it wasn't really. I mean, it was really just us getting together and having fun again. I mean, these guys wrote it, so they, they, probably, they probably had a lot harder time than, than I did, <laughs> just getting to go and laugh it up with them. But again, it's fun to write it because, you know, the whole point of these movies are to give the audience and us just a pure round of fun. Just go and laugh, have a good time, you don't have to think, and then just go home and tell your friends you saw a funny movie, you know? <laughs> what was beautiful about the first one was that the expectations weren't huge. You know, there was a sort of sense that, you know, here's a TV show that people liked, but weren't maybe not necessarily remembering it this generation. And, and, that, and yet, there it was, one of the great big openings of that year. It was out in March 2000. 12 and everybody got a big shock and everybody was delighted and everybody loved it and as, they, as, you, as you kind of reference in the movie as, as the uh, our boys Jenko and Schmidt get a, a bigger budget you know doesn't mean that twice the budget is going to be twice the profit and you know all those things of, of, of expectation because you're both producers now you know, are those sort of things that, that, that you have to sort of consider or, or are those sort of things you feel well really our gig here is to have as much fun as possible and get it on the screen and not really worry about all that sort of uh, side of it I think well you know, we just wanted to make sure the movie felt like the first one and everyone and mm. everyone uh, was able to make fun of the fact that we were making a sequel and make fun of ourselves and not take the whole thing too seriously while still maintain the humor and joy that made the first one a, a good movie. Yeah. You're giving the full Cape Blanchett on, on the budget, I presume. <laughs> yeah. That's personally my favorite joke in the whole movie. <laughs> it doesn't get a big laugh. It's a cracker. It's very, very sweet. Um, I, I was thinking too that when that first opening weekend, I know you, you're, you're a man of, of your word. I know you're a very decent man, John. I've met you before, and you've always struck me I as somebody. No idea what you're gonna say. Baboom! I think you might know what I'm going to say, don't you? That opening weekend where, where you promised the beautiful Channing that if it should open over 35 million, you didn't believe that could be possible, that you would do a, a, a certain act that would, would reflect that your uh, incredulous, uh, you know, uh, reaction to it. Do you ever feel you will go there? You will ever. Should we describe it? I don't know if we, if we, if we got. Is there any children? There's no children. I, I, I there. wouldn't. I, I, de I definitely wouldn't describe it if I were you. Um, but let's let's just say that uh, that we're friends and it never happened just for the fact that we are we want to still remain friends. But I think we've all said some things uh, got like, oh, if this happens, I'm gonna like cut off my arms or something. Like, it was meant know, to just make everyone laugh. Basically. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Good. I know that you both uh, branched out far beyond comedy. I know it's been said that, that for you, John, you branched out about five minutes into the sitter. I think mean, that's one of the uh, wonderful jokes from the James Franco roast. But that idea of, of branching out and, and doing all these different genres, is it just like itchy feet? Is, is it just, you know, is it sort of feeling, well, I, I, sh I should try these things. Who knows? You know, I, I shouldn't be confined to one area in people's minds. Is it, a, is it a sort of instinctual thing or is it a little bit of that smart career move? I should get out there and try other things. No, I just do the things that I'm passionate about. And, uh... You know, uh, I've been lucky that uh, I get to do as many dramas as I do comedies and, and that people receive them both well. Yeah, same here. I, it could be any story, any character, anywhere, anytime. And I, I just want to keep challenging myself. You know, I don't want to do anything that's derivative from the last thing I've done. If it's a love story, I want the characters to be, you know, if I'm doing two of them, I, I want them to be completely different. Rock and roll. I think my time is up. I'm getting that sweet oh, finger up. up. Nice to talk to you guys. It would have been nice to maybe get one or two others. I, I make too many notes now. I think I'm going to have to. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, guys. That's so much coming out as well. Well done. Are you doing radio in the same room? Those things, guys.